Hello everyone, welcome back to the main channel. Now, a few things I want to talk about before we get into today's topic. One, you might notice that this light here, yes, is uh, not on. It's because if you see my other outfit from me today on here's one I made earlier, my 20th YouTube channel, all about the fantastic uh, program Boy Peter, who has got a long history connection with Boy. Well, with Doctor Who, because uh, you can tell because he was Who Peter, uh, with a fantastic documentary about the connection between Doctor Who and Boy Peter over the history. Anyway, so this like died in that video, and and I'm just putting it on charge. But I uh, had so many thoughts about this topic today that I needed to film it now, 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 now. So, but this video might also be really short, based off, based off the fact that I, at this moment in time, don't know it enough to spend hours and hours and hours talking about it. Not because of lack of knowledge, it's just because it's like, there must be, so, because I haven't heard, I don't think I've heard the big funny audio that features the creator, which is the title of the video anyway, so I'm not spoiling anything. So I've not really heard it, but I know that Colin Baker is the creator in the Big Fish one, but I've not heard that audio yet to be able to say I know a lot about the creator. Now, today we're talking about the creator that was created. I want to say the word creator and create the word creator many times in this video. I'm going to have to Google how to spell that because I think he spoke differently to the actual word creator. I think there's a U where there should be an E or something, but don't quote me on that. So, the creator was a 50th anniversary character that only now makes sense. This video does c contain spoilers for the very ending of The Giggle, which I'm excited to hear the novelisation because I recently used an audible credit to get the audiobook, so I might review the differences between the TV episode of The Giggle and the novelisation of The Giggle. Anyway, so... Let's let's get on. So the creator was created for the end of the 50th anniversary, where Tom Baker was coming back to say, "We're gonna, you're gonna visit some old faces. I am the creator of this art gallery." Now the creator that appears again in the world of Big Finish with Colin Baker. So we know that the creator either regenerates or it's a different Doctor Plot from another timeline. Who actually knows? Well, that's the thing, Russell T. Russell T. Davies probably knows. Because Russell T. Davies used Stephen Moffat as a writer before Stephen Moffat took over as a showrunner. He knows what goes through Stephen, Stephen Moffat's his head. And what's good about that is that when Russell T. Davies came back and thought, we're going to have to do by generation, he must then thought, well, then that now cleans up how the creator why the creator is diff old faces of the Doctor because of the bad generation must mean that the Doctor well obviously the regeneration cycle would be different because each Doctor by generating would have a slightly different incarnation to come after them if bad, gener bad generation works like that because no I don't personally know the in the not bad generation just yet so I don't really know if like hey for instance the Tenth Doctor by generated into Matt Smith, would he then regenerate into Matt Smith still? Or who would he regenerate into? Who knows? So, I think the creator, who is the Doctor, which I'm going to say that kind of now, because obviously, why would the creator mention to the Doctor that he would visit a few old favourites? Obviously, for Matt Smith, then went on to regenerate. Well, if, obviously, if Jodie Whittaker then regenerated into, into David Tennant as the 10th Doctor rather than the 14th Doctor, then we would have made a tad bit more sense through the use of the curator, but because of bi generation, that still fixes and that still utilizes the curator to the best of its ability. But the creator is a character that no one really talks about. And no one uses it in fan films, like the Dream Law, no one used that in fan films until I came along. Well, from what I see, no one really utilised 
the Dream Lord is a massive character to like him along and did a Doctor Who Earthbound where the Dream Lord is a key cast member in the show along with the Master and soon to be selection of new characters for the brand new series coming summer 2024 with a special coming before them. And so I think that the creator is a character that's intriguing and mysterious. And if the time was child then gets fixed as what I mean by fixes and resolved and the doctor then knows who they are and not wondering who they are and, and so the, the time was child thing we don't have to mention that as much as in like we don't have to spend the whole story arc going I wonder who I am let's try and get the fob watch out of the TARDIS it's, if you do a episode about the time was child and the doctor realizes who they are and knows who they are and a lot more information about who they are then that clears that up and that could also help was understand more about who the creator is because the Timeless Child arc is fantastic the creator is mysterious but because the creator was next using Big Finish it does mean it means well, it, it comes across to me that the evolution of the creator won't be shown on screen anytime soon because the world of the universe and spin-offs open up Russell T Davis to write a whole series with the creator, um, what about the art, the many lives of the creator or destination creator? It could be something that utilizes the word creator and shows who the creator is and why the creator is important. But I haven't read the Hootopia book yet, which is down there for me, so I don't know if that expands who the creator is. Um, I don't know. I, Personally, I know that I personally think the creator is a doctor and I personally think that the creator could come up at any moment in any form and should appear more in fan films and they should do more fan based creator things not just fan doctors, fan masters, uh, fan villains. We need a fan creator, thank you very much. We need someone to be the creator and a whole series on the creator to understand the story about who the creator is, why the creator is, and how we go about using the creator in further um, materials, if you will. So, who is the creator overall? I think it's the Doctor, but I could be wrong. Uh, and we'll leave it at that, because cause if I say, right, Doctor Who fan film, fan audio, and fan series creators out there, introduce a creator into your series, or create a whole spin-off, with a creator, Russell T Davis, if you're listening or watching, um, I need you to use the creator more in the next series or in the next uh, next era. So she to get when needs to come across the creator, or make a spin-off of the creator, or at least mention the creator at some point in an official capacity to give your thoughts on the creator, whether or not you like the creator, hate the creator, or what. So. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Down with the world. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.